Hello everybody and welcome to my 87th VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the group by uh, keywords in SQL uh, in order to uh, bring through multiple records with sum and count uh, and group them in a particular manner. Uh, so what we want to do in our select statement is we're going to bring through the name of our customer, so we'll bring through all of our customers and then how much they've spent so far, essentially. So uh, I'm going to put in, first of all, the customer ID, underscore ID, and then the uh, item value. Uh, and then let's get rid of our where, because we don't need that. Um, and you, it's sometimes it's easy to think that this might pull it through properly, but you actually have to specify that you want to group by this one. Uh, and that this one is a uh, kind of expression. So in here, we just put group by, and then we put our customer underscore ID. Uh, and so it's gonna give us list of customers and then the, the sum of their sale items. So if we press play now in here and look in here, uh, and at the moment it's only bringing through three of our things. Um, and so what we actually want it to do is if we come in here, we want to turn this back on. So press play. And then it's going to bring through these as well. Let's just make them currency. So this just tells you exactly how much the uh, customers have got. Um, it's annoying me that that one's going slightly further forward. I can't work out why. Um, wow, that's going to bug me. Um, so we haven't got any spaces in our Bruce. So why is it coming up with being a little bit further forward? Oh no, that's horrible. Oh dear. Oh, it would be the format of the sales one. So let's just put the format on there. Phew! Oh, that was close. Um, white space in data really annoys me. Um, so try to try to avoid it. Uh, it's much worse when you get spaces at the end because they're harder to see and then you can't compare your data. Blech. Anyway, um, so this has just brought through for us all of the customers and the total value of the items. So if we come back in here, we could put in the count as well. So let's just put count and uh, so item value. So just put in item value as well and then press let us have the third one in. We reference them as normal, so we've got uh, O, 1 and 2 here. Uh, press play. And that just tells us how many items they brought. And then we've also got a couple of other functions that we could use. So instead of count, we could have uh, average. And that'll bring through the average of the item value. So press play. Uh, and then uh, let's change them to currency. Uh, and that just tells us the average uh, value of all the items they've brought. Uh, and we can put in uh, maximum and minimum. So let's put in minimum in there, maximum in there. Press play. Uh, and that's going to bring us through their cheapest item they brought and also the most expensive item they brought. Um, so that's going to be it for SQL functions and the group by. Just remember with the group by that any fields that isn't using say minimum, maximum, sum, count, average, um, you need to put it as group by. So we can put as many in before as we want, but we need to list them at the end here in our group by section. So very important, quite tricky to do. If you have any problems, then feel free to, uh, to paste it in the comments below. Or if you, if you go into our forum, you can actually put your SQL queries on there and I'll be able to help you fix them if you're having problems with them. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do joins. Um, so it's going to get a little bit more complicated, uh, but a hell of a lot more useful. So keep tuned. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe and I will catch you soon.